Hi, everybody. It's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. The other day, I put an infographic on my website, and with it, I added embed code, but I didn't actually show you what to do with that code in order to place this infographic on your blog. So we're going to do that today together. So the first thing you need to do is put your mouse inside the box so that everything highlights blue, and then right-click your mouse button and say copy. This will copy this code into your clipboard. Then what you need to do is go inside of your WordPress dashboard and create a new blog post. So we'll go to post and say add new. Now you want to make sure you're inside the text tab. So over here, make sure that you hit text so you're in the right section of this post. And then what we want to do is we want to go to the top of that, hit enter twice, and then right click our mouse and say paste this plain text. And then we want to hit enter twice again. Now this gives us space below the infographic as well as above it in order to add additional text. Now you'll probably just type in what you want, but I've already pre-typed mine so I can just copy and paste and fill the rest of this post out. Now once I have the text in there that I want, I usually highlight the call to action and hit B for bold because I want to make sure it stands out. Then I come over to the right here and I'll fill out the other information like the categories that it belongs under. You can enter your tags and your featured image if you use one, which goes right here. And if you use like some sort of SEO plugin, you want to make sure that you copy your title, description, and your tags in this section as well. Then go back up to the top of your blog post and hit Save Draft. It's a button right here. It will show an earth spinning. When that earth stops spinning, we can preview this post. I hit the preview button. It will open up another page on your browser window and then we can go to and look what this post looks like. So here, check it out. This is exactly what the post will look like. And when your users come along and they want to view this infographic, it says here, view image, 10 ways to recycle infographics. They click on that. It will open up another window, a target blank window in the browser. So it doesn't actually take them from your website. They're still there and they can view this entire infographic from top to bottom. Now when they close this window out, look at that, they land right back on your website page. So you never lose the visitor by embedding an infographic from my website. So that's all there is to it. When you're happy with the way it looks, you come back into your WordPress dashboard and hit the publish button. And that's all there is to it. So until we talk again, you take care, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you soon.